The year, 1708. The place, the Aden River, near Schwarzenau, Germany. The event, five men and three women were baptized, and Alexander Mack became their first minister. This is the beginning of the German Baptist Brethren as an organized congregation. My name is Ron Eckelbarger, and the German Baptist Brethren and their modern descendants here in the United States are the topic for this discussion forum video for HIUS 530. These first brethren were influenced by both Anabaptists and Pietists, which gave a unique emphasis to their denomination. For example, they believed in adult believers' baptism by what is called trine immersion. Now, they got this immersion part from the Anabaptists, of course, but the trine immersion, or what that is, is to be baptized three times forward, uh, they got from Scripture. Of course, in Matthew 28, Jesus says to be baptized in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Well, they want to dunk you three times. They got the forward part of the baptism from John chapter 19, verse 30, where it says that Jesus bowed his head and gave up his spirit, of course. And that is still a feature of all of the descendants of the German Baptist brethren, is that they believe in trine baptism. They also hold foot washing to be an ordinance, not just baptism, not just the Lord's Supper, but foot washing as well. From the Anabaptists, they also got their disdain for government interference and the rejection of violence, military service, and war. They are known as a peace people, such as the Amish. Now, from the Pietists, they received the emphasis on the new birth and a heartfelt Christian experience and living what you say you believe. Well, the German Baptist brethren, like many other Christians, longed for a place where they could worship according to the dictates of their conscience. So they were not long in Germany. According to Donald Dernbaugh in Fruit of the Vine, A History of the Brethren, a group of about 20 families first came to Pennsylvania in 1719, and then a much larger delegation came, led by Alexander Mack, in 1729. They came to Pennsylvania, but soon spread out to Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, even making it all the way to California. According to David Eller in the Brethren Encyclopedia, by 1880, there were 60,000 members of the German Baptist Brethren. America is where they came and where they grew. It's also where they split. Uh, between 1881 and 1883, there was quite a major split in the German Baptist Brethren. And this is what I depict here on this chart. Of course, we have the German Baptist Brethren, founded in 1708 by Alexander Mack. But then in 1881 through 1883, three divisions happened within the German Baptist Brethren. You had the people who wanted to go back to the old ways, the old German Baptist brethren, and they split off so that they could continue to live as they had always lived, much like the Amish. And they exist today, and you can see them living much like the Amish do today. In fact, a lot of people confuse them with Amish. The main group that uh, split, or that came, off, that came off of the split in 1881 to 1883 was the Church of the Brethren. And they changed the name from simply German Baptist Brethren to the Church of the Brethren soon after that split. And then in 1883, you had the more progressive group. So this is the more traditional group. This is just the main group who just wanted to kind of keep things the way they were. And then you have the Brethren Church which was a very progressive group. They believed in using hymnals and uh, Sunday school and camp meetings and revival meetings. So they were quite progressive. And, and all of this is what led to the split. So now 
going into the 20th century, you have the old German Baptist brethren, the Church of the Brethren, and the Brethren Church. One last split that is of note for it's this fairly major split happened in 1939 when the Grace Brethren, which is now known as Caris Fellowship, broke off from the Brethren Church. Uh, they formed Grace Seminary in Winona Lake, in Indiana, and their own denomination. This split came ma mainly because of a division due to the fundamentalism of the time and also the dispensational theology. The Grace Brethren held on to the dispensational theology and the fundamentalism, whereas the Brethren Church uh, wanted to stay away from those distinctive. In closing, I want to read a very brief story that kind of sums up how the Brethren seem to behave with one another. During the First World War, a committee from the Church of the Brethren was in Washington on behalf of the conscientious objectors. Remember, they're a peace church, and this is by J.E. Miller in his book, Stories of the Brethren. Well, General Crowder, who had the matter in hand for the government, gave them a courteous hearing, suggesting that they state their case fully. In the course of the interview, he turned to W.J. Swigert with this question, how many divisions are there in your denomination? When General Crowder heard the reply, he said, you are pretty good scrappers for a peace people after all.